Hey guys, welcome to another video. I want to start this video off by saying I apologize so much for not letting you guys know that I was going to stop doing these. I did not know that I was going to stop doing them, but I am apologizing for the lack thereof of these videos. I know not a lot of you watch them, but those of you who did watch them, they meant a lot to you, and as they did me, these videos mean a lot to me as well and that's why I feel like you guys are owed an apology and again I apologize so much for not explaining why sooner but yeah thank you guys so much for watching and listening now if you are and I hope that you guys enjoy this video it's going to be a little bit different than my other ones I am going to have little things on the screen I don't want to call them notes but they are points in what I'm going to be talking about just so I can put in the description the time that it starts and when it's over just so those of you who don't want to hear the whole video you don't have to and if you just want to listen about a certain topic you can do that but yeah I know that this video is going to be longer than my other self-love videos slash updates but I don't know how long it's going to be but I'm going to try and make it as short as possible so yeah like I was saying earlier, uh, my sister passed away and then I was going through so much, but over the time of that and then everything that has been going on with me, including school, those of you know that, well, those of you who do not know, I mean that I am in my last semester, hopefully last semester, if not, I have one more. Um, of school and I am a bio psych major and I'm just really excited to be done with school but that has been very stressful like the whole school has just been very stressful and managing everything keeping a social life just on top of family life and then on top of relationship problems with my now ex-boyfriend and just friends in general and family just a lot happening at one time it was like everything fell apart all at the same time and it was just a lot emotionally but I'm glad that I started my self love journey before all of that stuff happened because I don't know what I would have done if I hadn't um, but yeah, so that gives you guys a little update of what's been going on with me behind everything that you guys see on my channel, like what I've been going through a little bit. So I hope that helped you guys, and again, I apologize. So I'm going to sh jump straight into this video, and I'm sorry for the long intro, uh, but I'm going to touch on a few points in this video, and I'm going to start off with a big one to me. I think all of these are big. Um, over the past several months I've really been noticing how stressed I've been and how I've been dealing with stress and I've never dealt with stress as well as I have been the last few months so I was like I need to talk about that first. <laughs> so the first topic is how to deal with stress and the first thing that I would say to do like if you are dealing with stress or to prevent stress I would take time for yourself like center yourself I don't know if you're spiritual or not or religious but center yourself in whatever way you know how I personally need to have a moment to myself I need to write in my journal and I need to pray and whatever it is you have to do to get to that place that quiet place for yourself do it and I think that's number one number two exercise and I know um, you guys might be thinking oh my gosh you have to exercise just to not be stressed out or whatever no but it helps a lot when I don't work out I know that something's like I can tell like stress just starts to creep on in when I don't so Exercise is a big thing for me, at least. And the, again, these are, I'm no doctor or anything. These are just things that help me. And when I say exercise, I don't mean strenuous or anything. You could just take a walk around the block, do some yoga, or I don't know, just anything just to get outside. Or you could even just 
I don't know, jog or whatever type of working out you like to do, whatever type of exercise you like to do. And then the third thing I would say is always remember that it could always be worse. Always remember it could be worse. Always. And lastly, I would say it's very healthy to talk about it. I used to keep things in a lot and only write in my journal. And now that I've gotten a little older, I'm like, I can see how holding things in is very negative for your body it like causes more stress to hold things in so if you can find someone that you really care about and they care about you a loved one who you trust talk to them even if you don't have a loved one talk to a stranger maybe a therapist but don't hold it in and I think that's it for stress uh, now I want to talk to you it's not even it's not a lot but relationships I guess uh, I have in the past thought that I could control certain things in relationships friendships they're all relationships so and I've recently realized that you can't control anything you can try your hardest and if it doesn't work it's not your fault if you've put your all into it you just have to relinquish control and let things go and be how they're gonna be and I don't know how else to say that just let things be let go of control and let things go how they're going to go if you've tried you've tried and that's all you can do and don't beat yourself up about it I know that I used to do that like with any relationship my friends my boyfriend every relationship I would be like oh my goodness it's my fault and it if you've tried you've tried and that's all you can do at the end of the day Secondly, when it comes to relationships, I would like to say you cannot find self-love in someone else. Like, you cannot find self-love in a relationship. The most important relationship that you have in your life is the one you have with yourself at the end of the day. And I never thought that you could find self-love in anyone, but when I was very down and almost on the verge of depression... I felt like certain individuals could give me the love that I needed, but what I really needed was to tend to myself and love myself. So, and that was when I was just starting to get down and sad, but just as a whole in general in life, you cannot find happiness or love in anyone else if you don't have it with yourself first. And yeah, I think that's it for relationships. Uh, next I'd like to tell you guys about rooting yourself on like being your own cheerleader your own coach uh, always 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 coach yourself or at least learn to coach yourself I know surrounding yourself with positive people always helps but at the end of the day you are your biggest supporter and your biggest promoter and just cheerleader so always remember that and always try to have those daily affirmations like the challenge that we did when I first started this and I will actually link that video in the description of this video and because uh, that is that was like a really good one I think just the affirmation challenge was amazing and I was surprised how many of you guys did it so don't forget about your affirmations your daily affirmations it's like you're your own cheerleader so always remember to do that and also remember that it's okay to be alone it is okay to be alone it doesn't mean that something's wrong with you or anything like that I'm not saying be antisocial by any means but it is a healthy thing to know that you can be alone and I recently have found that it makes me happy to know that I can be by myself and not even be stressed out or worried and be anxious. I used to get that way. And now I'm like, I enjoy my own company and I love being with myself. And it's just been very eye-opening. And it's not that I don't love hanging out with people because I love my family and my friends. But knowing that I can be by myself and still be as happy means a lot to me. And I think it's a very healthy to know that you can be alone and then these are the last two things I'm sorry if this video has been too long but I'm trying to get through it uh, focus on the end result and your journey and I know a lot of people always say focus on the journey not your destination the journey is important by every means I'm not saying 
that it's not, but the journey is very important, but so is the end result. And I feel like the journey is more important, but at the same time, if you lose track of your purpose, which to me is your goal, then you lose track of where you're going and then your journey may not be what it was supposed to be, if that makes any sense. So never lose focus of your purpose. And you can call it your goal or whatever, but I call it my purpose. Never lose track of that. And yes, your journey is the most important, but do not ever lose track of where you plan to be, your goal or your purpose or whatever you want to call it. Just never lose sight of that because once you lose sight of that, you sometimes lose sight of yourself and where you're going and you never want to do that. Always keep yourself grounded and focused. And which leads me to my next and last thing I want to talk about. Keep your mind on the solutions, which is kind of the same thing, but it's not. Like, keep your mind on the solutions when it comes to struggles in your life. Don't focus on the roadblocks or the hindrances that are put in place. Or the things that you go through do not focus on those do not dwell on them focus on the solutions don't think that there's never a way out there's always a way and as long as you remember that and stay positive things will work out better always stay positive and focus on the solutions and not the struggles and as always I'm going to leave you guys with some food for thought and it's a quote that I've been loving recently like like in love I feel like I read it every day and it says surround yourself with people who make you hungry for life touch your heart and nourish your soul and right now that is what I'm doing and I love it I love this quote because it's so true it helps and when you surround yourself with people that make you hungry for life and warm your heart and just that love you and nourish your soul it you can tell the difference in your quality of life and how you feel about your life and yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys liked that quote and I hope to talk to you guys soon and I'm not gonna say how often I'm going to do these but I know that they're not gonna be non-existent anymore and I will try and get them up every week and if not every other week so i hope that you guys enjoyed this video again and hope you're having a great morning afternoon or night whatever time of day it is when you watch this video and always remember to stay true to you